I wanted to share a story with you. So one of my sisters, who is called Sophie, which is my oldest sister, who is a year and eight months younger than me, years ago, back in 2013 and 2014, early in 2014, she'd suffered with what is known as cluster migraines. And if anyone has had these, they know how bad they are. She used to be in so much pain that she used to go to hospital and they used to give her very strong painkillers, which is just helping to mask the issue rather than resolve it. And to be honest, it wouldn't completely eliminate the pain. So she was just suffering with this long term. And she'd have a lot of other health issues as well. And she's on a lot of other pharmaceuticals because she was not in good state of health mentally and physically at that current moment in time. And yeah, there was one time when I basically moved back to my hometown and my sister had gone to the doctors, uh, the hospital should I say, and they couldn't resolve it for her again. So she come round and she spoke to me and told me about it. I didn't actually know about it until this point. And I said, you're magnesium deficient. I could just clearly tell that she was. So we got her some magnesium and she used it and boom vanished never returned ever again since that point forward and the reason being that it worked and why I knew it was a magnesium deficiency is one of the most common symptoms of a magnesium deficiency cluster migraines and other different types of migraines and headache and the reason why it causes a deficiency is with magnesium, it relaxes your muscles, it relaxes your nervous system, it relaxes everything in the body. And most people have an excess of calcium in the body due to the animal foods that they're eating on a regular basis. And their diets are very, very low in magnesium because they're not eating magnesium rich foods. And even a lot of so-called magnesium rich foods are very low in magnesium because if there's not magnesium in the soil, then it doesn't go into the food and then it doesn't go into your body when you eat it because it is almost non-existent or it's completely non-existent whatsoever due to soil depletion and due to most farmers out there so to speak using just three nutrients pnk phosphorus potassium and nitrogen when there should be around 90 different trace minerals in there and if not of the soil they're not in the food, all these different nutrients that you need. And this is why people are becoming chronically deficient. Well, one of the main reasons. So if you're someone that suffers with migraines, whether it's on a regular basis or not, try supplementing with magnesium. The most absorbable form is what is known as transdermal magnesium oil, which is applied topically. It almost has a 100% absorption rate, but if you don't want to use it topically, I used to use it a lot topically and I still do have the magnesium oil at home, but I found that putting it on my skin and having to wait around 10 to 15 minutes is very time consuming because yeah, putting all that oil all over my whole body takes a little while and then standing around not being able to do much because you've got oil all over you which just wasn't very convenient for me so I found that I wasn't using it on a regular basis so if you're like me and you want to make it a lot more easier and convenient for you then take an oral form such as magnesium citrate there are other forms such as magnesium biglycinate but it tastes absolutely disgusting. So if you do buy that form, make sure you get in capsules. But yeah, I'll put a link down below for a supplier that sells pure magnesium citrate powder and it is dirt, dirt cheap. And yeah, if you are suffering with these headaches, I would recommend taking anywhere from one flat teaspoon, anywhere up to three flat teaspoons of the magnesium citrate. And if you're using the magnesium oil, apply it once to three times a day. But yeah, with the magnesium citrate, you can get diarrhea. So if you do get diarrhea, stop taking it, wait till the diarrhea is gone, and then half the dose that you took. Because when you take too much, more than your body can absorb, it will cause a laxative effect on you. So yeah, you need to be very aware of that because causing yourself to have laxative for a long period of time will start to deplete essential nutrients out of your body and have a negative effect on you and it could actually lower your magnesium levels. And that's the last thing that you want and that's the last thing that I want for you too. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this video because I can tell my skit is a bite me, that's why I keep moving around and itching myself. So yeah, give it a go and let us know how you get on with it. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below as always, and I get back to you as soon as possible. I love answering your questions, so please send them my way. And please share this video with anyone that you think may need to hear about 
the magnesium and how it can get rid of their headaches because a lot of people out there suffer with them and they don't need to. They don't need to be taking these painkillers that are just masking the symptoms and actually making their body very, very toxic and having a whole host of negative effects on their mind and body, whether they're aware of it or not. And yeah, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below and make sure that you hit the bell button next to it to receive email notifications of when new videos get posted on this channel. So yeah, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.